Hello, I'm Ryan from Ooze Nest. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell for future videos that we'll be posting on our CNC machines and our 3D printing projects. In this week's video on the Workbee CNC machine, I'm going to be creating a nice little tray for our toolbox. This is going to have just our starter end mill kit, our spanner and two of our collets. At Maker Central, we was lucky enough to be given a sample pack by Shadow Foam. So if you haven't already, check out their YouTube channel and their website. And what you'll receive is just a nice little sample like this of that size. With their foam, you can either cut it with a knife or as we're doing here, we're going to cut it on the work BCNC machine. For this project, we're mainly going to be using the VCarve Pro software. You can also use the desktop version depending on which size machine you have. We've chosen to use this software as it seems to be the most popular at the moment and one that's in the price budget for many users. So please stay tuned and we'll get on with this project. As you can see here, laid out in the VCarve software, I've got our pockets, I've measured our containers for our end mills and I've laid them out here for the starter end mill kit. I've also got the vectors for our spanner and two pockets here for our collets. What I'm going to do is just open up our preview toolpaths and you can see here that I've got the different depths and the holes that are needed to create this project. What I'm going to do is just export these just by saving them here and just making sure that our post process is selected to the GRBL millimetres post processor. I'm just going to save that and we can upload that to Duet and get on with the project. As you can see, we've just finished cutting our project. I'm now going to add in our last piece, which is our spanner. You can see that that's going to fit nicely straight into that shadow foam. I'm now going to take this off the machine. Now that we've got all the end mills in place in our collets, and we can put it in the drawer of our toolbox. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video on machining foam on your white BCNC machine. I'm really happy with how this project has come out and it's really going to tidy up things in our workshop. If you do have any questions, please do get in touch. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Usenet's YouTube channel and we hope to see you again soon.